Hey everybody, this is Dan once again with another Git tutorial video. Today I'm going to do a short video on Git Archive, so let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be using the Trick repo, which is available on GitHub if you're interested in looking at it. And we are going to use Git Archive to zip up a release of the trick repository so before we do that though um, if you're looking for resources on get archive just check out the man page and you can see at the top that it lets you create an archive of files from a named tree um, and there's a bunch of optional parameters and uh, so I'm gonna go through a few examples here to uh, get you comfortable with how to do it so let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to type here git archive and I'm going to give it a format. You tell it what format you want. In this case, we're going to do tar. And then you have to give it a ref or a commit or a, basically a reference to a point in history. So in this case, we're going to use the shortcut head, which just means my uh, current commit on this branch. And if I were to press enter here, you would see a stream of consciousness because by default, Git Archive will start writing the archive to standard out, which is pretty useful to exactly nobody. So you need to pipe it to a file, or in this example, I'm going to pipe it to gzip and redirect the output um, to a file name of my choosing, which I'm just going to call trick um, with today's date. So if I hit enter on this command, We'll see that it worked for about half a second. And if I do an LS now, you will see that I have a new tarball of the trick, um, the trick repo at this state. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this off to a temporary area so we can unzip it and take a look. So I'm going to switch over to slash temp. And if I look in slash temp, basically if I do a tar x v c f on this guy to extract the tarball, hit enter, and you'll see that it dumped a whole bunch of stuff here. And so if I do an ls, you'll notice right away that it went ahead and it dumped all of the contents of the trick repository in my current directory, meaning it's not in a top level folder which means it's cluttered with everything else that was in temp and it's probably not really useful um, and so there's something that you can do to get around that in git archive natively and that is to add a different command so the basically you want a different switch and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the command that we had and we're just gonna add another switch and that's called the dash dash prefix switch and this is where you can tell it hey I want all the files you're gonna give me in the archive put it under this prefix file path so as an example we may want to put it under a top level directory with the same timestamp right so let's go ahead and do this again we're gonna redirect it to the same file which is gonna overwrite the one that's uh, well, actually, we moved it out of temp, so it won't overwrite anything. We'll do this, and now we'll see it here. It was just created. And so now, if we move this guy to temp and do the exact same thing, temp, and we do a tar xvzf on this guy, you will notice that it dumped everything, all the archive, oops, under a prefix directory which we gave it which is super useful right because now you look in this uh, folder in temp and we have everything centralized under this directory and now in this directory it looks just like uh, the trick git repo from a file directory perspective but if you're new to git I just want to be clear about this this is a tarball of only the code 
at the head commit we specified. This is not a git repo, which means if I do a long listing, I do not see a .git folder. You cannot do git status in this. This is not a git repository, and that's by design. You know, you use git archive as a way to sort of package up a specific version of your source code and deliver it somewhere or post it to a website or something like that. Um, so I just want to be clear about that if you've never used Git Archive, that it is not a way to create another Git repo. It is a way to package the contents of your Git repo uh, for some other use. Okay, so let's go back and show you a couple more examples. One thing that's kind of cool about Git Archive, I showed you the hard way first, right? This command where you have to pipe it. So you, pipe it to gzip and redirect the output. I mean, you're really going to remember that. I, I don't. So I tend to use a different notation, which is the dot, uh, the dash o switch. So if you look at, at archive, man page, and you look at the dash o switch, you will see that you can actually specify the output file. And what's nice about this is uh, Git archive will infer the type of the zip directory based on the name you give it. So as an example, Let's do, uh, we'll add the prefix again like we did before. O dot o. And then instead of doing the gzip stuff that we see here, let's just do the dash o switch and give it a name, trick 15 bar dot gz. And in this example, I want to show you that you don't have to use head. I mean, we just use the most recent commit because it's convenient, but in this example, I want to show you, you can use any ref. So you could use a commit SHA-1. In this case, I'm going to use an actual tag. So this is a git tag that exists in the repo. And so this is going to be the reference of the state we want to zip up, which means that it's actually going to zip up. Uh, it's going to create a tarball of the source files that's not in, not necessarily in our directory tree, right? It's actually going to go into the dot .git um, history and grab the files associated with this version, which is cool. You don't even have to check out to the version that you want to zip up. You simply have to specify it in this way. So let's go ahead and hit enter. It worked for about half a second. And we'll see that we created this new tarball, which is pretty cool. So you don't, I, I prefer this notation. Um, so if you want to memorize something, try to memorize this, um, or just write it down somewhere. Um, because if you do the other version, this version, and you forget to pipe it, it's going to look nasty and possibly screw up your terminal. Um, so I want to show you one last thing that's potentially useful. Uh, sometimes you don't want to release, you don't want to zip up your entire source code. You only want to zip up part of it, and sometimes you, you want to you know deploy to an external group. Hey, check out this standalone directory. We got some stuff in here you might be interested in, but you don't need anything else. Well, you can do that with the git archive command by just giving it as the last parameter the path or paths that you want to include. So in this case, let's say we want to only give, you know, we only want to zip up this trick source directory, which is at the top level. And so we just specify that. And you'll notice that, you know, the one we did before that was the whole one was, you know, showing this file size. And now we see a much smaller file size, right? Because we didn't get the full contents of it. And, you know, if you really wanted to see the contents, we can just untar it here, right, in place. Sorry, I use tar and zip interchangeably. I know that is. Uh, <laughs> not the same thing. So what we get is, you know, we do a long listing here and we see that it dumped everything under this folder like we specified. And, you know, when I say everything, I mean everything that was included in the archive. And in this case, we told it, hey, only do trick source, which is that last, the last parameter to get archive. So I think I'm going to end the video there. I, I want to keep this short. It's just a simple, how do you do a get archive? Um, so, like I usually do, we'll just summarize with the syntax. So, you want to you wanna do a git archive to package up 
the contents of your git repo source code you want to type git archive and then the optional prefix uh, parameter which is sort of like top level directory that you want to have and then slash and then dash o for the output file and say you know my output file dot tar dot gz or if you wanted you know a zip format you could do that too uh, then the ref of the state in the history that you want to capture something like head or a commit SHA-1 or a branch name and then finally optionally path or paths that you want to only include if you don't give that uh, it's gonna do everything by default so uh, I hope that was helpful my name is Dan and I'll see you next time